Good morning everybody, another week in lockdown and I am getting ready and I just thought I'd start my vlog. I have had like the worst lockdown skin, which is a thing. Um, all of my chin is broken out like here. Yeah, it's not great. I mean, it's starting to clear up a bit now, but that was frustrating. <laughs> just what you want. Didn't bring my tripod up, so I've just balanced you on some cotton pads. I'm gonna give my face a little wash. I'm gonna use my Lizzo cleanse and polish. Okay, now I'm gonna use a little bit of my Dr. Robux Lifesaver Skin Brightening Toner. It's got witch hazel, aloe vera, and glycolic acid. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna use some of the Lumen um, Nordic Sea Glow Boost Essence. I love this stuff. This is my second bottle that I have purchased. Just drip it on. I actually haven't really been doing anything differently to my skin um, since being at home constantly. Um, I haven't really used any more face masks than usual or anything like that. The only thing that I have done differently, hello, there we go, is um, not worn makeup as much, which I didn't think would amount to this. <laughs> Maybe the face likes a bit more of a routine. And then I'm just gonna put on a little bit of moisturizer. The moisturiser I've been using, which is a little bit squished, is this. It's the Embryolisse Le Creme Concentrate. Terrible French accent there, but um, yeah, that is it. The multifunction nourishing moisturiser for all skin types. Okay, I'm about to start my makeup. I genuinely don't know if this is going to work because I'm very backlit. So any minute now, I could go completely dark. <laughs> Um, but I'll stay here for as long as I can. Um, I haven't really been doing anything differently with my makeup. I do want to sort through my makeup. I feel like now is a very good time for me to do that. I always forget things have expiration dates and I've certainly got stuff in my collection that is far too old, older than Nala. <laughs> and that should not be going on my face. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, the expiration date is it's probably not going to focus now but this little thing on your products that looks like a pot with a lid that's opening i think it might be different on some products than others um so this is 12 months let's be real i never take 12 months to finish one of these but different types of products have different expiration dates things like cream products don't last as long skincare check your skincare this one's nine months that's not long to use up a whole thing where you only really use a tiny bit each time. I have a lot of product and there's no way I can single-handedly get through multiple nine-month products. Um, especially more recently, I've really been very careful with what I'm testing um, on my skin because I feel like when my skin was clear, I was really happy with um, the routine and the products that I had and I was a bit scared to kind of try anything else just in case my skin was like no thanks um so i have been very selective with what i try therefore i reckon i probably could sort through my skincare collection and my makeup collection and just get rid of things that a are definitely probably growing a seal of mold on top and b i just don't think i'll ever use so it's probably better to pass it on uh, to somebody who will um get more use out of it starting with a little bit of collection i really haven't been doing much different on the days where i have been wearing makeup it's been either a dewy um by the way these spots aren't actually like active spots they're just marks they're disappearing now so if you're freaking out that i've just put my concealer straight on my spots don't worry I also got this a new one out yesterday so thinking all the things to clear the face <laughs> or I've just been doing this trick with my bare minerals powder on top 
which I think is what I'm going to do today. But sometimes, I think especially at the moment, I just feel, my skin feels very dry everywhere. Like it's very dry on my body. So I've been having like all the oil baths and moisturizing within an inch of my life. Um, but my skin is also um, dry in places and oily in places. So I can't really make up its mind. I am struggling with my hair at the moment. <laughs> Yesterday was the day that Adam and Sam, who are my friends but also do my hair, were meant to come and move my extensions up. Um, I think you're supposed to move them every eight-ish weeks. It doesn't matter if you go a little bit over. The reason you do move them up, I've seen quite a lot of people asking me this, like, why do you have to move them up? is because as they grow with your natural hair, because they're glued in, as your hair grows, you get this kind of gap of like natural hair and then extension. Um, and they start sticking out more, they're harder to cover, um, and they just get quite loose. So every time I wash my hair now, I can feel the bond, like the glue isn't, as sticky so they're literally hanging on for dear life i love having long hair i'm obsessed with having my extensions i'm not in any rush for them to come out however i don't want to leave them like where it just looks really bad and i also just i'm aware i just i don't want it to be bad for my hair or for me to pull on them or anything but also they're gonna be so long if they just carry on going. So I am gonna to have to remove those at some point, probably the end of next week. Um, so yeah, sad times, but not the end of the world. It's just hair in it. A little bit of bronzer, literally just the Estee Lauder bronze goddess. This is the makeup I'll do when I'm not in a rush, but like, I'm not being too fussy. When I choose not to make a, a thing of actually doing my makeup. Do you know what I mean by that? You know, like when you've got a new product or something and you're really excited to do your makeup and you sit and you like properly dedicate a good chunk of time to do it. I actually really enjoy doing that sometimes. Um, but at the moment, I just feel like I've got so much to do. I just keep it quite quick and minimal. Like some days I literally just leave it like this. It does though depend on what video calls I've got that day, who I've got meetings with, etc., etc. The blusher, just using my NARS one. I do think me clearing out my makeup will kind of make me rediscover some things that I'd completely forgotten I had. Um, and a couple of new stuff that came into the P.O. box before all this happened and I just haven't had a chance to look through yet so um, I'm hoping I'll get round to doing that in this video Brows Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade Lots of you ask me the colour I use Medium Brown I have also set myself the mission this week to finish the book Amy's finished her chapters. <laughs> uh, so it's just me and my four chapters left. To be fair, three and a half now. I have written um, some of the chapter I needed to do. If you're watching this and you don't know what I'm talking about and you haven't seen my announcement video with Amy, we're writing a book together. We're co-authoring a book called The Magpie Society, um, One for Sorrow. It's a thriller, a bit dark, it's a YA. Um, so nothing like the Girl Online series, um, much darker. Basically everything I love, but in a book. And it's been so much fun to do. Um, I really enjoyed it. Definitely found it harder to write now that we're in um, lockdown for some reason. I thought I would 
find it easier actually haven't at all i've found it much harder i feel like because there's more distractions and not as much routine like i had my set um writing days and i don't really have those anymore it's kind of as and when i can if you haven't yet pre-ordered we would love it if you did um and i will leave the links in the description box to pre-order you can pre-order it from eason's um which are signed copies from both myself and amy you can order them from waterstones which are also signed copies wh smith which are also signed copies and then you can always pre-order from amazon but those are not um signed just as an fyi let me know if you've if you have pre-ordered already i'd love to know just doing a wash of color on my eyelids i'm using the victoria beckham tweed um eyeshadow palette and just blending it on it looks very dark because of this lighting it's not i'd love to know if you're like working from home or even if you're not working from home even if you're furloughed or you aren't at uni or college or whatever are you still doing your makeup are you still like getting up every day and like getting ready because some days i do and some days i really don't um but i'm just interested to hear what you're doing and like what makes you feel better i have to say i feel much more productive when i get ready and when i do my makeup than i do if i don't um but some days if i'm just sorting and cleaning there's no point <laughs> Yeah, I'm just interested to know what makes you feel better? What makes you feel productive? If you're trying to be productive, I don't um, for one minute expect everybody should be being productive right now because you're also allowed to not be productive. But yeah, I've just found it kind of hard to um, get a bit of motivation in the last kind of four days. Like over the weekend, I know you don't need to be motivated over the weekend, but I just felt like I had so much I wanted to get done and I just couldn't bring myself to start any of them. And then I just ended up just feeling really rubbish and like guilty for not doing it. I actually put it on my Instagram yesterday and so many of you had such great suggestions. Like lots of you were like, do your hair and do your makeup, get up, get ready for the day. It always makes me feel better, which I do agree. Um, some some people were saying put on your favorite playlist and dance around um like force yourself to dance around which i also loved i always put s club seven on when i've got a big task ahead of me like a big tidy up or a big sort out or something i'll put s club on and that really like gets me in the mood to get going lip product much like my face and my body skin <laughs> my, my lips have been pretty dry i've actually been wearing a lot of the by terry balm de rose and it's sorted me right out so they're actually not as dry today so i'm gonna go for a matte lip i just really love this color it's the color called exposed done i don't really know what to do with my hair obviously i'm avoiding washing it <laughs> so it's just kind of on me head like this I mean I need some hair pins I think we can pin all this we can make something with this I'm just gonna leave it this will do today for clothing I've gone for like a comfy cash so I've got my um, Saint Laurent t-shirt, which is a really nice, very thin, baggy material. I've got my Topshop cardigan, and then I've got a pair of mom jeans that are my favorite, I think. Mm, the Topshop ones and these ones are my favorite. This is BDG, I think I got these in Urban Outfitters, but the zip's broken, but I'm wearing them anyway, because it's just Alfie that's gonna see my fly open, so. Um, and I guess if I accidentally, there you go. See, my makeup looked like I'd really piled it on in the dark. 
Look at all that I need to sort out. It's actually still quite early. I've been waking up. So it's 20 past eight. Okay, no, it's not that early anymore. But um, I've been waking up at like 10 past six recently. And before I probably would have forced myself to go back to sleep a bit. Um, but I've just been getting up and going with it and starting my day a bit earlier. It does mean I get more tired in the evening, but I definitely feel way more productive and get so much more done when I actually just get out of bed when, I'm, when I've woken up, so. I don't know how many of you are the same. I know that a lot of people get that in the evening, like that burst of like, oh my God, I have so much energy, I can get so much done. I feel like the light isn't adjusting very well. I might have to check my camera settings. Um, Alfie is definitely more of a nighttime person. He gets so much more done in the evening. He's like Mr. Productive. But at that point, I miss like, tuck me up in bed and say goodnight. Like, I'm done at that point. I'm gonna make some breakfast and check out exactly how my day is looking. So for breakfast this morning, I have decided I want yogurt and fruit. Only a bit of yogurt. You probably can see my flies. <laughs> and the biggest thing of honey you will ever see. Yeah, I mean, can't go wrong with a bit of fruit and yog. go right i'm gonna eat my breakfast try and down this maybe i'll just watch arden's twitch stream um although i'm pretty sure i mean it's called bragging about my five star island for four hours straight so i don't think oh it's four and a half hours long i'm obviously not gonna be able to watch the whole thing but i'm really enjoying arden um streaming on twitch right now she's funny and i love her island it looks weird. My yoga looks a bit weird. Um, yeah, it's great. Just been doing a little bit of editing and I'm about to head into a creative meeting with the team, which I'm excited about because I just really miss like working with them and like seeing them in real life. But I am gonna make myself one of those coffees. Is it Dalgona, Dalgona something coffee? Um, I don't like coffee <laughs> and the last one Alfie made me was so strong it actually gave me a headache um, so in my quest to find something that would satisfy my whipped coffee needs <laughs> um, I basically I found this brand <laughs> flavor infused instant coffee um, the only way I can ever drink coffee, because I don't particularly like the taste of it, I don't like how bitter it is, is if it has quite a strong flavour of something else in it. So, like, lattes I'm okay with because they're really milky, but like a caramel latte, latte, great, can't really taste the coffee. Um, so, I found these. The brand is Littles. Um, this is gingerbread cookie flavour. This is orange chocolate flavor this one is chocolate chai swiss chocolate and french vanilla yes i got carried away i bought them all because i couldn't decide <laughs> that wasn't even all the flavors they had more but i thought why don't i try the whipped coffee with this so it has like more of a flavor to it and i'm also not going to do as many as you're supposed to or maybe i will but i'll put it in the fridge and just not drink it all so what do we do two tablespoons of whipped coffee whipped coffee i'm gonna oh god i'm making a mess i actually don't have long until my meeting two tablespoons fine this might not work i don't know <laughs> guys i tried to do this with a hot chocolate <laughs> didn't work now here's where the flavoring might actually make it go a bit wrong <laughs> because then you add two tablespoons of sugar and i feel like there's probably already a lot of sugar in that to give it its lovely flavor and to be honest that could be what gave me the headache it was just like an instant sugar hit although we all know sugar is in my veins at this point 
got me thing. Oh, do we need to do two tablespoons of boiling water? Is that right? I actually haven't looked this up. Oh, the flavor I chose, by the way, was gingerbread cookie, because to me, this smells the least like coffee. It smells literally so good. It smells like a gingerbread man. Okay, I'm just gonna double check, because if I put too much water in this, I'm gonna have ruined it. Hot water, okay, two tablespoons of hot water. Okay, now I'm gonna mix. Look at that. Right, let's move that boiling water. I don't have much ice. Oh, and I made the mistake of getting the ice out before I made the thing, so. <laughs> now pour in the milk. Look at that. Okay, there we go. Cheers. With the new ones I bought. Gingerbread. Yeah. This. All your flies are undone. Yeah, it's broken. I just really like the jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Okay, that's really good. Still quite strong. It's definitely still coffee, but I love the added taste of gingerbread. Mmm. Mm. Well, this will give me an energy boost. Lovely chair. Yeah, like a nice chair. Little Hello. Hello. Here she is. Hello, Hello ladies. How are you? Great, how are you? Hi! A little bit later and Alfie and I are just about to go into our big monthly meeting which I call the what's occurring meetings just because it's a chance for us to like sit down with who do we sit down with finance finance lawyer Maddie business advisor uh, business advisors um, and we all just office manager office manager and we just chat through um, loads of things big mm. important businessy things <laughs> Just more of a, of a review yeah, of like how, not day to day, but monthly. Monthly review. How's everything going? What's occurring? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's what we're about to do. Getting on the video call. And also my hands are dry AF. So I'm having to put hand cream on like every blooming hour at this point. Fresh. It smells I'm running great. out. It smells like a baby. Yeah. It does, doesn't it? Or like sun cream. fresh baby. Yeah. If any of you are wondering, it's a little sample of the L'Occitane. I never say that right. Is it L'Occitane? I say L'Occitane. L'Occitane. <laughs> um, very dry skin, intensive hand balm. It's not even fully dark outside. I don't even know what the time is. Let me see. Half eight. It's half eight and Alfie and I are coming up to bed. I just made a full on roast dinner. <laughs> Casual Tuesday night roast dinner. Also I need to water this plant, it looks very sad. Um, yeah, just made us a full on roast dinner. Now we're coming upstairs and we're gonna watch Too Hot to Handle, which I don't know if that's a new show on Netflix or not, but those of the girls are um, messaging about it, being like, oh my God, you have to watch it, so. We've just started that. Feels quite Love Islandy. I like that there's people from loads of different countries. Um, and I'm very interested to see where this goes. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Let me know. Hello. What do you want? No kiss? I've also brought up some chocolate chip cookies, which I just found in the cupboard. You know when you feel like eating something really specific? Like I'd finished the roast and I was like, I'm not gonna lie, I do feel quite full, but I just need something sweet. 
but I don't want chocolate, I don't want sweets. Saw these and I was like, this is exactly what I wanted. Might check in on Animal Crossing for a little bit and then probably just go to sleep. Maybe listen to a bit of a podcast as well. Um, but yeah, hope you've had a good day.